I'm really praying that this TBR jar is on my side today. <laughs> Hello beautiful people and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Gianna Land, and today we're back with the famous TBR jar. I don't have to tell you guys how this series works anymore because it's just kind of a thing on my channel at this point. You guys love TBR jar videos. I love creating these so we're back again for April. I don't know why but I'm feeling extra nervous about this time because I'm praying that we can get some cute fluffy books for this month because we are into spring at this point. So that's the mood I'm in for reading and we're just gonna hope that my TBR jar can give me that. But a quick PSA is that my neighbors are getting some construction done so I'm so sorry if you can hear that in the background I've been waiting to film this video for two days now they still are working the show must go on is what I'm trying to tell you I did renew all the prompts in this jar because I felt like some of them were getting a little bit repetitive so I put some really good ones in here and we're just gonna see how this goes I'm probably going to pick seven because I feel like that's a good number for my TBR and yeah before we get started make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already especially if you love TBR jar videos this is where they're at, I'm telling you. TBR, as always, is gonna go on the top shelf of my TBR cart, and then I have the rest of the books down there that I could choose from along with my bookshelf. First prompt. Pink's always first. I feel like that's a tradition. What is it going to be? A book with hearts on the cover. I feel like I already know what one I'm gonna choose, but I might have more than one. Two options stood out to me right away when I got this prompt. The first one we have is Bad Reputation by Krista and Becca Ritchie. This one is also kind of connected to the Addicted slash Calloway Sister series. So I picked it up because I knew that it was following similar characters, like kind of in the same universe. So this is definitely an option, but look at how long it is, you guys. But I saw a heart at the very top. So I think that counts. Then we have The Honey Don't List by Christina Lauren. I picked this up thrifting for such a good price, but this one has hearts all over it, you guys. All over it. So... Am I leaning more towards this one? Yes. Plot-wise? Yes. Cover-wise? 100%. So, I think we're gonna choose this one. Only because it's something different. I'm a little intimidated by Bad Reputation, can't lie. So, I feel like this should be our first pick for our April TBR. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick summary of the back, considering I don't really know what it's about. Carrie Duncan has worked for home remodeling and design gurus Melissa and Rusty Tripp for a decade. A country girl at heart, Carrie started in their first store at 16 with a new show and a book about to launch. The trips are on the verge of superstardom. There's only one problem, America's favorite couple can't stand each other. James McCain, MIT graduate and engineering genius, was originally hired as structural engineer, but the job isn't all he thought it'd be. The last straw, both he and Carrie must go on a book tour with the trips and keep the wheels from falling off. From the hilariously zany and heartfelt, Christina Lauren comes a romantic comedy that proves if it's broke, you might as well fix it. And if you guys know, from at least the back of the book, there seems to be like some remodeling stuff going on, and I've been a sucker for that lately. Plus, if if it's a book based on like books in the actual book that was a tongue twister I love it and I'm here for it so I'm super excited to pick this up it's super short so this will be our first pick for our April TBR second prompt should we go purple I'm feeling purple oh we got two. Oh, I dropped it oh my gosh I'm nervous a book you keep putting off so many times from your TBR Damn, they're calling me out here, guys. <laughs> I came back with two options, you guys, because I feel like both of these, I've just been telling you guys I'm gonna read every single time and I never do. The first one we have is Maggie Moves On by Lucy Score. And as soon as I got it, I put it on one of my monthly TBRs and I haven't read it still, obviously. And I've had this book for over five months, I wanna say. That is crazy. I don't know how I still haven't read this book. I don't know. It seems cute and the dog on the cover is just so cute, so. Definitely an option. Also, The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. Why have I not read this, you guys? I got this one thrifting as well for such a good price, and I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's held me off about this book. I think it is the mixed reviews, to be honest, so I'm not too sure, and I just don't really know if I'm gonna be in the mood for a forced proximity book like this one. Between the two, hmm. This is where the indecisiveness comes in. I think I'm gonna choose Maggie Moves On by Lucy Score only because I loved the last Lucy Score book that I read and I really wanna read another one of hers and I have one on my TBR, so why not read it? Plus, I'm kinda in the mood for this, can't lie. I think this is what we're gonna read. Other than home redesign and remodeling, I don't know too much about it. It seems like opposites attract though, cause it said, can these opponents turn up the heat without burning the house down? I just feel like I'm really, really going to enjoy it. So it has to be the second book on our April TBR. Third prom. Touch this one first. 
your highest rated book. I actually don't know what this one is because the last time we got my lowest rated book. So I'm gonna have to check my Goodreads for this one. We shall pull it up. Goodreads is so slow, you guys. Does anyone else have that problem? Is it just the app or is it just me? I have no idea why I'm so surprised about this book because it kind of surprises me, but at the same time, it kind of doesn't. Heartless by Elsie Silver, which is the second one in the Chestnut Spring series, was my highest rated book on my TBR right now with an average rating of 4.39 out of 5. That's crazy. And there's a lot of reviews for this one. So I don't know, you guys. I've been eyeing it last month and the month before that, and we have summer approaching. So could this be the vibe? I'm feeling like it is. Plus, I loved the first one, Flawless, in this series. I am trying to finish it so then I can get to her new series that is coming up that is still in the same universe as the Chestnut Spring series, which is Wild Love. I'm so excited for that book, you guys. I cannot wait for it to release. But yeah, I'm actually really happy that this one is the highest one on my TBR that my TBR prompt jar chose for me because I've been meaning to get around to finish this series. It's just another series that I've put off that I've started and just completely forgot about it. And because this is the second one in the series, I'm not too sure what couple this book follows. From the back, it seems like we follow Cade Eaton, which is Rhett's brother, and Willa Grant. I feel like I remember Willa in the first book. I definitely remember Cade, but Willa, I feel like I remember her a little bit, but the main headline says, working as a nanny for the world's grumpiest single dad should be simple, except she can't keep her eyes off him and he can't keep his hands off her. Single dad trope. I didn't even know that until I just read that. And that's one of my favorite tropes right now, especially like nannying, hashtag the nanny. Highly recommend that book. So hopefully it will give those vibes. Hopefully it'll be spicy. Hopefully it'll give me the summer vibes so I can be more excited for summer moving forward. So this will be our third book on our April TBR. Fourth prompt already, you guys. Oh wow, we have like two. There we go. A book with a purple cover. There's a few options. Oh! I'm excited for this one. With purple being my favorite color, you guys should probably know that if I can pick up a purple book that I see that I'm interested in, I'm going to do it. So we have three options for this one. It's kind of a lot, but when I'm looking at them, I just can't decide. First, we have Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher. This was on my TBR last month, and it was one of the only ones that I did not finish last month on my TBR because I did pretty good. Can't lie to you guys. This is the one that I just didn't get to, so I still haven't read it. And Lauren Asher is one of my favorite authors. I've been reading so many of her books recently, so I would really, really love to get around to this, hopefully, maybe this month. We also have Consider Me by Becca Mack, and this one has been a very, very anticipated read for me on my TBR ever since I picked it up. It is starting a new series, but it is also a hockey boy romance, you guys. And from my last month, I loved Icebreaker, so I feel like I really, really need to pick up another hockey boy romance. And it's a purple cover, too. It's a gorgeous cover, so this one's a very high contender. <laughs> Lastly is Safe by S.K. Barnett. I got this one thrifting, have no idea what it's about, haven't really heard anything about it but it seems kind of interesting there's a little bit of purple on the cover it's more like magenta I'd say but I'd say it still counts this one is definitely a darker book though dealing with like more dark topics so we're kind of on a romance kick right now you guys should I put in a dark book to like kind of give myself a refresher or should I just continue the romance let me know I'm just kidding you guys can't let me know because I'm gonna choose anyways but I think I'm obviously going to choose Consider Me by Becca Mack. I've been wanting to read it for so long, you guys, and I feel like this is just the perfect opportunity for me to do it because I don't know if I'm going to get another prompt that's going to help me put this on my TBRs. I'm just going to take it while I can. But this one seems so intriguing to me because we have an NHL hockey player that's like one of the best, and then we have a teacher, and she doesn't like hockey boys. Her best friend's obsessed with them, wants her to get with one so then they can go on double dates and like be in a relationship and hang out all together. But she hates hockey boys, and she's very, very very passionate about her career and very passionate with her path that she's going on so their worlds collide and we're just gonna see how it goes I guess but I'm just so excited for this you have no idea it says sparks will fly as Carter does whatever it takes for Olivia to consider him I'm so excited for this book this one is definitely probably my most anticipated read that I have on my physical TBR right now so it better not let me down it better not this will be our fourth pick for the month of April fifth one already you guys oh, oh we're going purple again a book published in your birthday month. Hmm. Well, I was born in June. We're gonna have to do some searching for this one through Goodreads. <laughs> I actually found more than one for this one, you guys. I was not expecting that. So our options are Stargazer by Lori Petro or Petru. I always mispronounce this author's name because I've had this on my shelf for so long and I remember I got a comment of me mispronouncing this author's name. So I'm so sorry. 
but this is such a short little tiny 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 book it's definitely summer coated and it's a pink cover it's gorgeous but then we also have the house across the lake by riley sager and this one i've had on my tbr for so long you guys and it's a riley sager book it's my last riley sager book that i have on my physical tbr that i still have not read because i've been loving his books and picking up so many of them so between the two of them it's a hard decision but i think i kind of want to read the house across the lake by riley sager a little bit more because once again i'm in a riley sager kick right now you guys and i feel like this book is more just summer coded and it's a super short summer read that i kind of want to save for summer you know so this one i feel like is just gonna have to wait and if you guys have been watching more of my recent videos i've been picking up a lot more of his books recently and you would know that i like to go into his books completely blind so basically all i know is that obviously it is i think another psychological thriller i feel like that's kind of how i see riley sager's books at least i don't know if that's the actual genre it's under but that's all i basically know and this book did blow up on tiktok a while ago like i'm very very late to the trend so if i can read this this month that will be amazing so i can finally see the hype see where i stand on that hype scale and like what i truly think about the book and once again i feel like with the tbr that we have so far right now i need a refresher and riley sager's books they're perfect refreshers because i always get my jaw dropped every single time i read one of his books this is gonna be our fifth book on our april tbr sixth prom what is it going to be this one's a tiny one a book continuing a series I don't know if I have any of these, you guys. We're gonna have to see though. I actually surprised myself and I found one. Twisted Hate by Anna Huang. This is the third one in the Twisted series. And I did start this, you guys. Let's see how far I made it. Page 56, chapter eight. I started this back before Christmas, I'm pretty sure. And I just don't know. Everyone says that this is their favorite one of the series, but I was never really a fan of Ava and Josh. Is that her name? It's Ava, Jules, Jules and Josh. I was never really a fan of them, so going into their book, I wasn't really excited for it, and once I started it, it just was a really slow start. I soft DNF'd this. Can't lie. Can't lie to you guys. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I love the first two in the series, so I really want to finish the series, but I'm stuck at this third book, so this is the only one right now that I have physically where I'm like in the middle of a series right now. It's going on the TBR. Hopefully, I'll change my mind once I actually get into the book. I feel like I didn't really give it much of a chance for me to actually see if I like it enough to continue it or DNF it. We're gonna give it a second chance because I feel like it deserves it and considering I love Anna Hong's writing I love this series so I have to somewhat like this book I feel like you know and I've also heard that this one's extremely spicy Let me know if I'm wrong about that, but you know, I'm here for it. I'm vibing it <laughs> So this will be our sixth book on our TBR Last prompt you guys already. Let's do I'm not even gonna look. We're just gonna go with the flow Oh, it's a pink one. Yay! A five-star prediction book. Okay, I feel like we got this one not too long ago, but I always love this prompt, so I kept it in because I always like to see my prediction of a five-star and then what I actually rate it if I read it, you know? It's just like a fun little game for me, so we'll see what we choose. You guys might be surprised by this one, but I don't know why, but Paper Princess by Erin Watt. I've been seeing it all over TikTok recently, and I picked it up not too long ago, and for some reason, I just feel like this could be a five stars. Like, everything that it deals with in the book seems like it would be up my alley. It is a darker romance, and we all know how I feel about darker romances and super messed up books. That's probably not a good thing, but you know, we're just gonna roll with it. So, for some reason, I just really feel like this could be a five stars. Listen to this. From strip clubs and truck stops to southern coastal mansions and prep schools. One girl tries to stay true to herself. These royals will ruin you. Like what? Seems like something so up my alley and that's probably not a good thing, but it's just the types of books that I love to read about. I don't know why, but this is the first one in the royal series. We'll be picking up another series, you guys, but that doesn't matter right now. <laughs> But the book seems to follow Ella. She seems to be going through it right now. She wasn't raised in the best community. Her and her mom have always been trying to make ends meet. Like, they're just struggling. And once Ella's mom passes away, Ella's just alone. Completely stranded. Has no one to turn to. So that's when Callum Royal appears, plucking Ella out of poverty and tossing her into his posh mansion among his five sons, who all hate her. Who is determined to send her back to the slums she came from. And then the last, like, main explanation is wealth, Excess deception. It's like nothing Ella has ever experienced and if she's going to survive her time in the royal palace She'll need to learn to issue her own royal degrees 
It just seems so intriguing and it's not too long of a book. Besides the font being extremely small, it seems like a book I could definitely get behind and I could see it being a five stars. Surprisingly, I don't know why, but we're just gonna put it on there, predict it's gonna be a five stars and see what the outcome's gonna be. So let me know if you guys have read this down below because I haven't heard too much of it yet because I feel like it's just starting to get popular. So let me know your guys' thoughts so I can have an opinion. But this will be our last book on our TBR, guys. <laughs> That one went so fast. I feel like this is the fastest I've chose my TBR in forever. But I also feel like I was just so excited to film this video because I just love them so much. So we have our seven book TBR that we allowed my TBR jar to help me pick. And I feel like it did a pretty good job. I'm pretty happy with it besides like maybe one book. I'm gonna give you guys a recap like I always do at the end of these TBR videos. We have Consider Me by Becca Mack. This is my most anticipated read that I have on my TBR right now, you guys. I've just been itching to read this book. It's been calling my name for so long and with my sports romance era that I'm in right now for some reason I feel like it's just the perfect one to pick up so definitely the most excited for this we have the honey don't list by Christina Lauren I'm intrigued by this for some reason it's super short so I feel like it could just be a quick read and Christina Lauren I love them as authors so I'm not too worried about picking this up and not liking the writing because I do love these authors but I am curious about the plot I need to know more yeah I'm just excited to go into a blind and see what it's all about paper princess by Aaron Watt I don't know you guys, this one apparently could be a five stars. We're gonna have to see, but Dark Romance, definitely feeling it for April. Maggie Moves On by Lucy Score, another favorite author of mine, and I'm just here for the redesigning, interior design aspect of this book, and for Lucy Score's books, this one is definitely on the shorter side, so I'm not too intimidated by it. And look at the cute little dog. I swear that's why I'm most excited about the book. <laughs> Twisted Hate by Anna Hong. We're giving this a second chance, you guys, so then I can finally get to the fourth book and finish off the series because this book is standing in my way. So let's hope the second chance that I give this, I will not regret. Maybe you'll surprise me. Maybe I'll really, really enjoy this in the end. The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. Definitely deeming this as a refresher book. And plus, I just need to see the hype of what everyone's been saying for the past like two years on this book because it's one of his best sellers. Like I'd say top one or two in my brain. We're just gonna see. And I'm kind of nervous about it because I feel like Riley Sager's books just take so much brain power out of me, but that's also why I love them because I'm just trying to catch him in his plot twist that I never end up catching him. You know what? I'm here for it. I'm just here for it. And lastly, Heartless by Elsie Silver. I'm also really excited about this one, you guys. I feel like this book specifically will get me super excited for summer and picking up the second one in the series, moving into summer, I feel like is the perfect plan because then I can finish that series at the beginning of summer because by the time I get to those, it will be summer by then, you know? So I don't know. I'm super excited excited and I'm excited to read about Cade. He always interested me in the first one. I want to see what he's about having his own book. But that's officially our April TBR that my TBR jar helped me choose once again for another month in a row. Like I said, I'm not mad about this TBR. I actually really am excited about these, specifically a few that I named to you guys, but I love this TBR jar. I highly recommend you guys making one if you guys wanna spice up choosing your TBR, if you're indecisive like me. This definitely does help with that, and it's just a more fun way to choose every single month what books I'm gonna be choosing to read or try to read. I really hope you guys enjoyed another episode of this little mini series going on. I do have a playlist link down below that has all of them if you guys want to watch more of these. Let me know what books you guys are reading this month in April. Are we picking up spring reads? Are we still going into those winter reads? Like what's the vibe we're going for for April with our books? Let me know down below. Give me some recommendations. I love them. And while you're down there, also check out my Patreon to join my Patreon family. We have so much fun over there. It's just a really good time and they already saw my TBR before you guys are seeing it so they don't have to wait for things like that. So make sure you guys check that so you guys don't miss out on things like that. But other than that, I really, really hope you guys are having an amazing, wonderful day. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Whoa. Books. Oh, this construction. You see what I'm saying? I can't with this construction, I swear. That's how this series, the next month that I got it, that, that didn't make sense. <laughs> it's so slow. The construction has subsided. Oh my gosh, I can't with this construction. I'm not too sure what, what, what person, because definitely broke the bright colors that we were going for, <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay.